Mm-hmm. You no, know I never thought I'd say it. You know, especially with the reputation by I mean, um, Al Heyman is gaining with the uh, boxing fans. I'm going to say that a guy like Andre Ward needs Al Heyman. If you haven't heard, August the 14th, 2014, his promoter Dan Goosen of Goosen Tudor Promotions had filed a $10 million defamation of character lawsuit against Andre and SOG Ward. 27 and over 14 knockouts, the recognized, basically the 168 pound champion, despite not having the belt, the uh, WBC belt. Former Olympic gold medalist, he has only fought twice since 2011, since he beat Carl Frotch in the Super Six tournament. So to put that in perspective, Carl Frotch has since fought George Groves twice, Miguel Kess, Miguel Kessler, Lucien Butte, Yusef Mack, while Andre Ward, since that same time period, has fought, has fought Chad Dawson in a fight where he could have just moved up and been a light heavyweight. You know, he could have easily beat Chad Dawson at 170 or even 175 pounds. And then his next fight was, Ed, was Edwin uh, Rodriguez at the end of uh, 2013. So, if you don't know, let me run it down to you. On two separate occasions, Andre Ward tried to get out of his contract. Andre Ward was injured, remember, for a period of time. If I'm correct, it was the shoulder. But he felt as though well, I was injured, so, you know, my contract's about to almost be. Uh, basically, the, but the way I'm trying to describe it is um, the, contract was, the contract was for a certain amount of fights. So Andre Ward was, was injured, and from my understanding, he thought that, oh, well, I'm injured, so that's going to be counting toward my time in a contract. Andre Ward was given a, um, a sign-on bonus for his last contract. Now, people are saying, how was Andre Ward in this long contract until 2016? It's because the judge ruled in Goosen's favor that, yo, you signed this contract, you didn't fulfill it. Just because you was injured for those six months, you still owe him those six months. And I'm not saying it was six months, I forgot. You know, I did the video um, about six months ago on Into the Arena. You know, I might put the link below, but the actual article to everything is right down below. Um, the link, the website I'm associated with, um, Real Combat Media, right down below. Check it out. Also, please subscribe, T Street Controversy, T Street Controversy Live. So, the way it's looking is, I've done a lot of research on it, and the way it's looking is that Andre Ward is basically fucking himself. You know, because each time, remember, he's already lost twice. Then, recently, within the last month, he filed that he filed for there to be a criminal investigation into Dan Goosen. Now, today, August the 14th, the information comes out that Goosen is filing a $10 million defamation of character. Now, this is his promoter. This is why Andre Ward can't get fights with Golovkin. He can't get fights with Chavez Jr. He can't get another fights with Carl Frotch or George Groves or whatever because nobody wants to deal with that. You know, how are you going to negotiate, you know, like you and your promoter, y'all beefing, but you're trying to, you know, come to terms and all kind of stuff like that. And then to make things even more crazier is that if you don't know who, who his attorney is, if you don't know who his attorney is, I'm not going to say his name. But it's somebody you should know. He's right here on YouTube. I'm going to say we don't really know the inside details, but we can only know about what we see and the fact that Andre Ward has lost twice. So which means he went through those two um, incidents that he brought, that he involved the uh, courts in, and the courts, the judges said, "No, nah, you're wrong." So then you go for a third time, his most recent time, to get a criminal investigation. Your promoter is like, man, I'm sick of you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sick of you. Defamation of character. And I know you don't got no $10 million. See what I'm saying? So it's looking like Andre Ward, he needs a guy like I, I'll Heyman to come in and say, listen, Dan, take this $20 million or whatever. Give me Andre Ward. We cool. Like, you know. He needs, he's in desperate need of a buyout because at this point in time right now, he may not be fighting until like 2016, 2017. And that's real rap. You know, so this is a situation that's getting ugly. And most likely very soon, sometime before this year is out, he's going to be stripped of that WBA title. Remember, he don't have a WBC title anymore. And this is a man who's undefeated. The best, um, the most accurate boxer right now boxing outside of Floyd Mayweather and Guillermo Reagan Dow. 
And it's just, we as fans, especially in the social media age and the internet and the super information, super highway, whatever they used to call it, you know, we're seeing like this destruction. And we're seeing all these fighters that he can be fighting. And we're seeing a year right now, 2014, where we, where we can rarely say that all the major pound for pound guys are not injured and they're all fighting and they're all active. All the fighters of our generation that's supposed to be active right now, if you think about it, is active all the way from the Victor Chanians to even the almost 50 year old Bernard Hopkins, Manny Pacquiao, Timothy Bradley, Carl Frotches, all these guys in 2014. Think about it. Out, um, Camilo Alvarez, Avery Lenny Lord, everybody, I would say probably the top 20 pound for pound have all fought this year. And if you think about recent years and recent memory, that has not happened because the retirements, even all the time, Floyd Mayweather took off over the years, but then you got one guy, that one guy who just did not get the fight. You even got Chavez getting Brian Varon, probably fighting again at the end of this year, but you got that one guy and Andre Ward who hasn't fought yet. As the story develops, like I said, this is some deep shit, you know, especially if you're an Andre Ward fan. And you should know if he's getting sued for $10 million, where's that $10 million going to come from? So somebody's got to come and buy him out and go talk to Goose and say, listen, drop this. But then Goose can still keep him hostage and say, no, I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you keep trying to sue me. You know, you always wrong. Oh, like, it's, 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 it's outrageous. You know, we just got to hope for the best and we got to hope he doesn't lose this because he's been, like I said, Andre Ward has lost the other two times. So now you got the two times he lost, you got him, you know, in the, um, you know, putting Goosen under the criminal investigation. You got Goosen suing him. Those are two different incidents right there. Two separate ones that if Andre Ward War loses, that'll be four different incidents where you lose and your promoter's going to, every promoter going to be looking at you like, oh, you like to be, you like to be difficult. And when you listen to him in his interviews, it don't really help him because he do be talking that quote unquote Miguel Cotto A side stuff about what he can do and who he is and all that. It's like really when it comes to the top tier level of fighters these days and in this era, you supposed to be number one and you supposed to be pay per view and you supposed to be the best between 160, 68, and 175 pounds. He even said at one point in time, you know, he would like to maybe test at one uh at, at um at uh, two hundred pounds, one ninety nine and um and uh, heavyweight. He did say that at one point in time, will he do it? He gotta fight. The man is 30 years old, you know, a net worth of like $5 million. And people say, why you got this money? It's all right there on social media. Like I said, the article is right below, Real Combat Media, T-Street Controversy, T-Street Controversy. Wow.